Yo, what is up, guys? This is Troy D from the Troy D 24 7 Mall on point reviews all day, every day, and we're back. And <laughs> wasn't I just saying yesterday that you know I have a set plan for the fragrances I review, and then there are just some fragrances that cut the line because they're pretty awesome. I feel very strongly about it. Well, you know, this one came in. And I felt very strongly about this way before I even got it. And, you know, nothing beats actually trying it and seeing for real that this one, you know, kind of like really hit your expectation anyway. So uh, this one is from Amwaj, the recent 2020 Renaissance collection. And this is called Enclave. Enclave, where the sea meets the land by Amwaj 2020 release. First and foremost, I want to thank Renaud Salmon, who is the creative director of Amouage. I mean, that guy is pure professionalism, okay? I'm going to tell you a story about uh, Amouage and me dealing with uh, Renaud and, and really talking to him. And um, yeah, I mean, this one really, like I said, I was so excited about. Let me tell you, even when I wasn't sure that I was going to get this from Amouage, I already made a thumbnail like <laughs> that's how excited I was about this one I already made a thumbnail heck even if I wasn't gonna get it so uh, but we got the package thank you Amwaj I mean we got all four right here but the one we're gonna talk about is this lovely enclave I'm gonna talk about it today I'm gonna talk about the scent is it full bottle worthy what's up with that how does this compare with other Amwajs in my collection right here in the back that's only a few Let's hit the music, guys. Okay, we're back, guys. I'm Waj Enclave. Look at this beautiful leather atomizer here look at that enclave amouage logo from oman beautiful let's go spray this right now oh mm. man so sick okay so Real quickly, I want to tell a real quick story about, you know, Renaud and how awesome he is. Um, you know, when I got Interlude Black Iris right over there, like I had some issues with the bottle. OK, it actually leaked. Uh, the bottle leaked. Um, and I believe this is due to the pressure on the plane. You know, I guess because this was what this one was really hyped. Yo, like I woke up at like 9 a.m. I forgot if it was like 8 or 9 a.m. just to punch in my order and it, it sold out that day okay they it was overbooked actually because interlude man is such a household name in the fragrance community at least I know here in America it is so when this black iris came out I mean it was it was pandemonium okay and nothing was more disappointing than when I got it and just a few sprays off the bottle it leaked and i was like you know i think that they were you know just rushing to get them out you know and so maybe it was the pressure of the plane and um the bottle leaked but renaud who's the creative director you know i reached out to him and he just had the quickest i mean the quickest response um sent me a bottle a new one uh from interlude black iris and thankfully this one the new one right here like yeah there's no leakage here so uh what i did was actually i just let it you know stay in the box for like a month so that's one of the things i had to do um <laughs> I, had to, I had to keep it there maybe it was again the pressure from the plane it worked out for me so thank you renaud real upstanding guy truly professional and um when you know the 2020 stuff released you know i know that you know i hit him up and you know at that time he was very busy because of you know the impending launch and but you know eventually he got them to me and what wonderful atomizers too uh can't say nothing okay now the thing about amwaj okay my personal opinion is that 
it is a well-known brand it is very well known they have their mainstays but i think that in terms of the fragrance community there's a lot of fragrances from amwash that are just they're not household names yet and you know either th there's not a lot of explanation about it or um there's no general consensus about them it's not like interlude man you know or like reflection man right here very well known within the community beach hut over there and then occasionally i'll get questions about gold man you know but um i feel like there's a lot of fragrances out there in amouage that you know have yet to hit sort of like that household name in terms of the fragrance community okay and so uh and also for me i believe that amouage fragrances if someone would ask me like what's how what's the general feel of amouage and the thing i would always say is that it's right in the middle of grabber and something that is like you know exotic magical you know it's like almost all their fragrances are like that it's like you can't just write it off as like a standard grabber fragrance but it feels like you want to grab it all the time and then at the same time there's that exotic nature of it that is you know you know it's made in oman or conceptualized over there i mean with a touch of oman um and so it's like right in the middle of those two extremes and i think that that's what makes amwaj amwaj so anyways this fragrance right here enclave like i said it's the meaning of land and sea this one here like really excited me to the nth degree and of course the moment i got these uh, atomizers i was jumping to immediately wear this because like i said I had, a, I had a really good feeling about this uh let's talk about the top notes real quickly so this one has spearmint cardamom cinnamon and pink pepper on the opening so this is a mint fragrance this is a this is a spearmint fragrance like i think spearmint dominant in my opinion and uh this spearmint is uh i like it you know i like how it blasts off of my skin i think it's very um uplifting and somewhat gentlemanly and slightly sweet um and this one is i mean this one also comes with you know the three other notes that i mean complement it very very well you have your cinnamon so it's cinnamony and then you have cardamom so it's like spicy and then you have pink pepper the pink pepper is not so much okay so i was thinking that maybe the pink pepper would add to the uplifting nature but actually it's really spearmint all the way spearmint is the most uplifting part for me and then you got the spicy sweet spicy facets of cinnamon and cardamom so right then and there i mean a lot of y'all will get a really good first impression okay only way that doesn't happen you don't like mint but then you're watching this video right now right so i'm already telling you guys so the mint is really lovely mixed with sweet spicy facets of cinnamon and cardamom pink pepper again not so much now this one right here the moment you'll smell this it will feel like a gentlemanly scent upstanding gentleman type uh very versatile work and i would say socializing uh it, it has that gentleman that gent scent type of feel okay and i will say this that just off the opening you will also feel that this is probably the most or one of the most westernized releases by amwaj you know because there's not a tinge of i don't know exoticism here it's just straight up very western or very uk you know it's like a very uk feel gentlemanly uh sweet spicy just lovely i really like this and there is a when you when you spray this right like when i sprayed this in me in the, in the beginning i was just like okay um where's the uh the typical amouage power and there, it like slowly developed within probably like five minutes like after five minutes this thing was blasting and i only took it only took like two sprays on my neck by the way not three i usually do three sometimes i do four this one is like two sprays that's it and it was emanating it was like it feels like a powdery blast okay there's no iris or anything here but it feels like a powdery blast emanating from my neck above average siage above average projection that's how i felt and i was like oh man this is it this is that amouage power right here so let's look at the mid notes right here this one has rose absolute this one has patchouli incense and vetiver so for me i mean 
the vetiver here is the one that really stands out for me you know after trying this one the vetiver is uh very complimentary again gentlemanly because of the vetiver uh there's rose but i can't really smell it that much maybe it is blended within the sweetness of this maybe it's blended with the amber which is on the base notes but um the rose not so much for me patchouli very light patchouli in my opinion uh, and the incense, I mean, the incense is there. It's not ultra smoky. I would say uh, it would be on like the level of like maybe like a 4 or 4.5 out of 10 type of incense. Just adds that blast. But ultimately, like I said, this for me feels like a westernized, you know, sweet, spicy, minty uh, scent, powdery blast. Um, so I felt like the, the mid notes although they are there i don't think that they really take over so much now on the base notes here you have uh the safiano accord which is i mean if you guys are uh used to buying leather uh bags for your wifey like you would know that safiano leather is like a like a high-end calf leather that's used on prada bags uh celine um and so they got the safiano leather accord here and i will say this this leather cord you can feel it all the way to the dry down and it's very very smooth okay it's very smooth it's not those fall winter harsh leather like straight out like vintage leather or motorcycle jacket leather like this one is a very smooth calm safiano leather i mean for me like it doesn't even feel like a leather scent you know why because there's another thing on the base notes that actually come out as well and it's very dominant and that is your amber extreme accord so the amber here is quite dominant matter of fact once it reaches the mid to the dry uh dry down phase this amber comes out and it's quite prominent sweet uh warming amber comes out and I would say that it is one of the most dominant parts of the fragrance and it mixes well with this Safiano leather accord so you don't really get I wouldn't say it's a leather scent it's just smooth leather mixed with the amber the amber extreme and so when you it's sort of like a sandwich yeah you have a really great opening which has the mint the cardamom and the cinnamon and then later on you have the amber and then the smooth leather uh so you know like i said you know my gut was correct i really knew that this was a really good fragrance um again uh very versatile and i would say all weather except maybe like really really hot summer because the amber probably won't complement it um or the the slight incense but you know this is like a spring fall winter you know it's 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 got those elements that are uplifting nice sweet and then warming as well um so i i thought that this is really man i, I knew it i thought that this was a, a really really great fragrance um it is fresh and then it's also amber sweet you know and uh it, it's it's minty it's it's somewhat spicy so you know i think it's really nice man you know for those that love you know cardamom for those that love uh mint uh, cinnamon amber uh, especially amber because of the dry down i think that uh you guys are gonna really like this one right here enclave i mean i knew it i knew it i mean i haven't tried the other ones but just based on my gut feel and looking into kind of like the pre-release stuff about this like i knew that this was going to be a really good one and i think that this is a full bottle worthy fragrance this is something that uh is right in between like i said grabber and exotic it's not even purely exotic, but I'm saying that there's a touch, uh, a signature touch of Amwaj here that, you know, it's not just like you can't just pass it off as a grabber. Just like, like, like Reflection Man. Like, that's how I feel about Reflection Man. Um, I think it's full bottle worthy. It's one of those really nice ones that you should own, especially in this weather, especially for most men, you know, most men, because it's very, very versatile. It's something you can wear to work. It's something that you can wear around your friends. I mean, it's, it's really quite nice, okay? It doesn't super stand out, but then again, you know, some fragrances are really awesome right in the middle, okay? And this is one of them. Amwaj Enclave. So that's it. That's my review of Amwaj 2020 Renaissance Collection Enclave. Again, I want to thank Renaud Samon and Amwaj for sending this over. I can't wait to try the other ones and review them for you. Like I said, I'm a big Amwaj fan. I got a lot of Amwaj right here um, and I do love them. Uh, these are, you know, some of my babies in the back. I mean, I haven't reviewed them all, but I will at some point 
a lot of people asking about the gold man right there the vladimir putin perfume i'm gonna talk about that someday okay and make sure again if you like hamwaj if you're down with hamwaj hit the like button subscribe make sure you're part of the troy d247 mall team again we're gonna talk about the frag cartel even more because i feel like i'm gonna release it very very soon um and you know thank you thank you for your support guys okay please like and subscribe and until then this is troy d god bless and take care Thank you.